Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Polly. I know that I've promised a field trip rather than continually rescheduling it. I'm just going to say that for now our field trip is on hold. But to make up for it, I am wearing one of my famous sweater vests today. So anybody that was angry that we're not going on a field trip can't really be angry at somebody that is willing to wear a sweater vest while taping a video that's going to go public. So I'm making up for it in my choice of outfit today. And I want to talk about something that's come up a lot, especially in the last week. And this is one of the, the questions that I get asked most often. And it's about Realtor.com, Zillow.com, and some of the other website actuators that are out there. The first thing I want to make sure that I say is that these websites are not designed to replace a real estate agent. I know you know, many of us think, well, what do I need a real estate agent for? It's, you know, I can do this on my own. I'll save money. Um, from this listing side, every single piece of data shows that people that sell their houses on their own take longer to sell it and they also get less money. So for the commission that you're saving, you're making up for it by selling your house for less than you could have if it was professionally marketed. For buyers, I never understand why a buyer would want to buy a house without using a real estate agent. You may save a couple bucks here and there, but you're not the one paying for the agent, the seller is. And so to have someone represent you, uh, represent your interests, help you kind of navigate the market, find the right home for you, uh, I've never understood why anyone would want to do that. And I definitely don't recommend that to any of my friends or family. Get a professional, get a real estate agent, and have them help you through the process. So Realtor.com, Zillow.com, and the other ones, they can be a good tool, especially in the initial search. If you're buying a home, they can kind of give you an idea on what's available, what prices are looking like. If you're selling a home, it can give you somewhat of an idea of what's been sold in your area, what's currently being listed in your area. However, Realtor.com and Zillow.com are not nonprofit organizations. They are not charities. And so what they are doing is they are, when you click on a property, they are selling your information to a real estate agent like me. How do I know? Because I pay Realtor.com monthly and I get real estate leads from Realtor.com. So they are not in the in the business of making sure that you buy a house. If you never buy the house, if the information that they have on there is not correct, it doesn't matter to them because they're getting paid for the lead. Now, obviously, they want to have as updated information as they can because at the end of the day, if they don't, then real estate agents like me are not going to be buying more leads from them. But they are not a website that is designed necessarily to help you. So I want to make sure that I start off with that. I have seen so many times I've worked with buyers in the, in the last year where they send me listings from a Zillow or Realtor.com and say, hey, I want to look at this. And then I will go into my public record system, my MLS, and find out that that house sold two months ago, three months ago, one month ago. I currently have, there's a listing in Springfield where I have gotten many Buyers on Realtor.com interested in that property. It's for sale for less than thirty thousand. So anytime there's a home for less than thirty thousand, then people are going to be interested. They immediately have thoughts of, "Oh my gosh, I can make two hundred thousand dollars on this once I renovate it." And we all watch those house flipping shows on HGTV. And so I actually got the lead first time three weeks ago. It was contingent and under agreement three weeks ago. It had just become. And I'm still getting leads because Realtor.com has not updated that information. And so people are clicking on that listing uh, when they go to Realtor.com. I'm getting the information. Other realtors are probably getting that same information. And again, what Realtor.com is doing is they are generating leads for real estate agents. So whether or not the property is still listed, the idea is that the real estate agent can take that information, find that person a different listing and go from there. The reason that I say this is that if that person already had somebody that they were working with, somebody that they trusted, a real estate agent who was walking them through the whole process, they wouldn't even have to go through the frustration of thinking that house is still available. Their real estate agent that they're working with would be showing them properties that are available and getting right to those, getting the showings scheduled as quickly as possible. So again, just want to talk about those things. Again, they're great tools. I'm not knocking Realtor.com. I'm not 
knocking Zillow.com, but don't let them replace a professional real estate agent working in your corner, working on your behalf, working with your interests in mind because you're going to lose out. It's just that simple. You're going to lose out. I hope it's me that you choose. If it's not, still choose a realtor, work with them, and let them surf the web for you. That's really it for today. I'm hoping that we can get our, our field trip in next week. But until then, feel free to reach out to me anytime with questions or concerns. Thanks so much. Have a great day.